Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. You are mighty God, mighty God. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, please. Um, um, teenage class would like to share a very short <laughs> um, message about the life of Jesus. So please encourage them. Please, please encourage them. And of course, all the happy places. Good morning, church. Good morning. I hope you've been blessed by the performance of the children. Yes, yes, yes. we are. Uh, so blessed. They've been wonderful. Let's give them a round of applause. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. You come, Pastor. <laughs> come on, Pastor. We pray that we will continue to grow in wisdom. Amen. Come on, Pastor. This morning, I want to present to you the message of Jesus Christ. About eight weeks ago, we celebrated the annual religion recognition of, Je of the death of Jesus. Easter. In the month of April and a few months before that, we celebra celebrated the birth of Jesus during the Christmas holidays. These, these festivals we celebrate every year. I would like to take the time to remember the significance of the life of Jesus. There are many scriptures that foretold his birth. The Old Testament are full of them. The most crystal clear writing of the Old Testament of the birth of Jesus is in Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a child and shall claim his name and shall call his name Emmanuel. This tells us this tells us that God has a plan for each and every one of us. It tells us that God knows us and knows the purpose of our life, even before we're born. In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, it says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before I, you were born, I set you apart. In the book of Luke, the book of Luke gives us a detailed account of the birth of Jesus and the fulfillment of the word of Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. Luke chapter 1 verse 35 to 37 reads, The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going for a child in her old age, and, and who will be unable to conceive it is now in her sixth month. No word of God will ever fail. Amen. Amen. This is a powerful scripture from the mouth of Angel Gabriel. We hear that the word of God cannot fail. I pray that the words concerning all of our lives will not fail in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We can also see that God prepared for, for Jesus and will not be able to fulfill his destiny ahead for his birth. John the Baptist, who was also a miracle born baby, born six months before the Messiah announced and proclaimed Jesus when the time came. Let us rest assured that God has already prepared everything we need to fulfill our destinies ahead of birth. Thank you for listening. There are many significant milestones in the life of Jesus. His conception and birth in the stables, Luke chapter 2, verse 20. His baptism, Matthew 3.16 When the Spirit of God descending like a dove onto Jesus and the voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We see here that God was with Jesus every step of the way. Yeah. I pray that God will, st will stand with us yeah. Yeah. as we fulfill his purpose for our lives in Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 His temptation. After the baptism, Jesus went on a, on a 40 days fast, where he was tempted by the devil three times. 
And each time, Jesus replied with the scripture and glorified God. Luke chapter 2, verse 41 to 52, tells us that from a young age, Jesus was in the temple, reading and studying the scriptures. Let us keep the word of God close to our hearts, because they will come in handy when the enemy attacks us. His transfiguration, Jesus' true form, was descriptive to us in the whole. Matthew chapter 17, verse 1 to 8. Mark chapter 9, verse 2 to 8. Amen. Luke and Luke chapter 9, verse 28 to 36. It says, His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. It is evident that God was with Jesus through his journey to fulfill his testimony. Yeah. God is with us every Amen. step of the way. Amen. Jesus was crucified to bear the consequence of our sins. Yes. His resurrection, Matthew 28, verse 5 to 6. And finally, his ascension, Luke chapter 24, and 15, as well as Acts chapter 1, verse 1 to 11. The message of Jesus Christ. Why did Jesus come? And what was his purpose? In Colossians, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, tells us what Jesus did for us on the cross. Chapter 1, verse 19 reads, For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him reconciled to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. When Jesus died on the cross and shed his blood, he became the bridge between all things and God, so that we can come before God and be part of all his promises. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 18 of the same chapter in Colossians, chapter 1, tells us that Jesus is the head of the church. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead. So that in everything, he might have the supremacy. Jesus is the head. When he was in the world, he had compassion on the people. He healed them of their diseases with the power of God. He brought people together in love. As Christians, we should walk in the same path as Jesus Christ. Yeah. Colossians chapter 3, from verse 11 says, Here, there is no Jew or Gentile, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free. But Christ is free, and this in you. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves in compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you, and over all these virtues put on love, which binds them together, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body he will call to peace. And be thankful that the message of Christ dwell among you as richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father through him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Before the offering, let's pray in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity given to us to hear your word. Lord, don't let us be the error alone and the doer of your word in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mighty God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.